get out here early to beat the heat. My opening speech was, we will win a state championship one day, and the parents and players laughed at me really hard. I, it was like one of the driving forces that still fuels me to this day. So I told them, it may not be in your child's era, but we will win a state championship. Yeah, so about the championships, um, we are currently on a 11-year consecutive state championship run. Uh, we've won 55 consecutive uh, Florida high school playoff games, which is a record. Uh, my name is Mike Pickett. I'm the head women's soccer coach at St. John's Country Day School, and I'm also the physical education department chair. What I've learned early in my career, I chased titles. And then when I won my first one, it was like I walked off the field and it was unbelievable. And, you know, we're celebrating and I walk off the field 20 minutes later and someone comes up and are you going to win next year? So it turned into immediate pressure. The pressure is definitely there, but it also, Coach Pickett does like a great job of having us kind of compartmentalize what our goal is, but then also what we need to do to get there. You can be as good as you want, but you're never going to reach your full potential if you don't work hard. I am a graduate of St. John's. I graduated in 2011, and now I serve as the assistant coach here in the soccer program, and I'm also a college counselor at the school. I played under Coach Pickett uh, starting in my freshman year. After I graduated, I continued to coach, so um, I have a long relationship with Coach Pickett, both as a uh, coaching mentor and um, that player-coach relationship. The difference between Coach Pickett and the other coaches that I've had in my life, that he cares on a different level. He just cares so much about us as people and we spend so much time in the classroom as we call it, watching film or working on our formation. Like there's so many things outside of just the field that we do that makes him so much different than any other coach. You learn so much from Coach Pickett and the staff here that like you just you keep wanting more. You keep wanting to learn more. You keep wanting to get better. Um, so Coach Pickett is a very detail-oriented coach, and that that carries through to today. Um, I see. I do have a greater appreciation for it as a fellow coach. Um, but his insistence on you know good is not good enough. You know we don't want to be good players. We want to be great, and, and focusing on separating the way that you train and the way that you play. I think the program was six years old when I came here. The head coach had what coach boys and girls. And so obviously the value 24 years ago was a little bit more on the boys' side. The girls wore the boys' uniforms. We had one set of balls that we shared. Um, if the boys had a game, the girls didn't practice. They went and watched the boys play. Um, and so it was more of a never practice on Friday, play one game a week, lose the bowls, 10 nothing, season's over. So what motivates me in coaching is um, you know, I, was, I had a learning disability growing up, I was severely dyslexic. I went to school here at St. John's and went to nine years of summer school to get through the school and hovered around a 2-0 my entire career. And so my outlet was, with, was athletics. I played five sports here and uh, soccer was dear to my heart. That's the one that I chose to go and do in college and soccer opened a door for me. And so, um, you know, I always felt like I owed it back to soccer to repay what it gave me. It gave me my career and my life. You know, for us, it's, it's work hard, love each other, next man up. If we get an injury or someone out, then it's the next man up. We don't cry about someone not being able to play and, uh, you know, we move on and we expect the next person to come in and do as well as the person in front of them. And uh, we have full faith in every one of our kids. A lot of coaches that I've had in the past for a club just focus on they want to win. And obviously, we want to win, but we want to get better, you know, before we win. And we want to be good people before we win. Keeping ourselves focused on our goal and what's going to be best for the team. He has this attitude in us that it's we, not me. So if there's something that I wanted to do, but it's not going to be best for the program, then you shouldn't be doing it. And so when you have that culture of everyone loves each other, and it's not perfect, we're not going to sing Kumbaya every day. There's definitely differences in, in the arguments, but it's just like a family. And so when you pull for your family and you love your family and you go to the war with your family on the field and uh, you know, 
you play for each other, then it becomes something much more than a game. One of the most rewarding things as a coach is to see uh, a player score a goal and to have her 10 teammates go and, you know, gang pile her. That's, and when you don't have that, you've got an issue. It's so much better when you have like 30 best friends on the team. All of the girls from sixth grade to senior, we are super close. I mean, we want to teach these kids about life and being you know, early instead of on time. We want them 15 minutes early. So the culture is very much set on life lessons um, versus just learning about a sport.